Write in the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting without fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here. Um, I was in the mood to play some MSX games, um, so I decided we'll do two this time um, and have a look at, um, it's a series that I was first introduced to on the Sega Master System and it was actually one of the very first games I played for it and it's none other than Fantasy Zone. Um, our further Master System you had Fantasy Zone, Fantasy Zone 2 and Fantasy Zone The Maze. Uh, never played Fantasy Zone in The Maze back in the day but I have a copy for the Master System now. I never even knew there was a version of Fantasy Zone for the MSX, and there actually ended up being two games. They brought out Fantasy Zone, of which I have a complete copy, Fantasy Zone for the MSX 1, um, and yes, a very, very colourful game is Fantasy Zone, so on the MSX you have a fixed colour palette, so it's very interesting um, how it came out. Um, it's actually not a bad uh, looking box copy got no manual or anything like that, but the cartridge is in really good condition. So, um, <clears throat> I, I never expected anything too highly with this game, because obviously it's a bit of a challenge, it's a horizontal scrolling uh, game as well, so um, obviously any form of scrolling the base MSX does struggle at too. So, um, but as I said, as you'll see in our gameplays in, in a minute, it's interesting how things turn out, because the next one, Fantasy Zone 2, which is also the better, more polished game on the Mars system. It's got more gameplay elements. And here it is, I've just got a loose cartridge. Actually came out for the MSX2. So MSX2 platform has a lot more video RAM. Instead of 16K, it has at least 64K of video RAM. Um, it does have hardware vertical scrolling, not hardware horizontal scrolling, but with all that video RAM, you can actually um, flip between pages to do scrolling quite well. It has multicolored sprites, and it has a much larger um, palette of colors to choose from. Um, now, this one came out in 1987, um, and um, by Pony Canyon as well. I don't know who the actual underlying developers are. Uh, but it's interesting how it came out. I'll, so I'll do my opinions for the actual gameplays when you when you see them um, of um, how well these play on the MSX. But I thought it'd be interesting for us to uh, you know grab a couple of games out and give them a play. So let's plug the first one in and let's go do that now. Right. So here we go. Fantasy Zone. Uh, now, as I said, on the MSX, uh, limited scrolling and uh, you've got a fixed color palette as well. And this is a very colourful game, so um, have your peril sensitive glasses on while watching this section. But I'll try not to. Um, uh, yeah, it's an acquired taste. So, as you can see, it is quite colourful, and um, a lot of things can get lost. Playable. It does slow down a lot as you can. Oh. And here I am talking and looking at you a little bit, and I didn't even notice I was about to run into one of the um, things. One of the things with playing in Fantasy Zone is you need big wings. I don't mind lasers, and twin bombs aren't too bad. And then you go to the next screen where you get to choose which one of the weapons.
can buy more weapons too and have them at the ready. And that's when the whoops the yellow one. Ah, this one come up that says sell, which is select, so you can select things. See when you die, unfortunately you lose your big wings. Still got our big wings because they stay, they don't run out. Let's get another wide beam. But as things, um, we'll buy an extra ship, let's do that. Um, and we'll buy a seven way shot for later. Sensors out there, but that is Fantasy Zone for MSX1. Uh, let's try Fantasy Zone 2 for the MSX2 and see what sort of improvements they made. Okay, so here we go with Fantasy Zone 2, the Tears of Opa Opa. 
So most importantly, it's Fantasy Zone 2, which has slightly um, different gameplay for Fantasy Zone. Plus also, we're on an MSX2, so let's see how they went at adopting MSX2 hardware. Now, MSX2 has built-in vertical hardware scrolling, but it does not have built-in horizontal scrolling, but it does have a lot of video RAM. Um, so it doesn't actually take a lot to do reasonable horizontal scrolling. So as you can see, it's already more colourful, but we do have a bit of a, shall we say, a border um, border flicker. But it is intrinsically easier to see, and you can see it's using uh, multicoloured sprites. Uh, but I wouldn't say that they've um, done the best that could have been done on the platform. Oh, God, that's a bit, that's a bit mean on the collision detection button. Um, now you've got multiple screens, so going into a warp sends us to the other screen. Or oh, does it jump us along a little bit? Okay, we've got a bit of money, let's go to our shop. Okay, normal things, we'll get our big wings, uh, twin bombs, uh, and then we're, we're out of money, so. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, probably the end of the line. We're going to have to. If that's the game over, we might have to have another go. I want to at least show a boss, so let's go again. Oh, okay, so we're not supposed to. 
supposed to run into those. Mm. So as you can see, just because we have better hardware uh, doesn't necessarily mean that the people behind the conversion uh, knew how to um, use the machine properly. Um, so this is a very lazy port for the MSX2, whereas the MSX1, even though it is a bit harsh on the eyes for the levels of capabilities of the system, um, it actually plays better as a more fun game, uh, whereas this one is a really, really lazy port and um, you know, disappointing, bad music, um, they could have done a lot more with the colour and even the, the horizontal sprawling they did with the pop in and out, also very lazy as well. So interesting but nice items in my collection. So um, thank you for joining me for this look at the two Fantasy Zone games for the MSX platform. I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.